Shalom and good day all and welcome to the Super Sons Fortress of Attitude and today I'll be covering a Batman and Robin issue 9 which covers Damian Wayne and of course Bruce Wayne Batman in this particular story. So moving into first things first and that is the area of the covers. Now first things first do these covers in any way shape or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story. Uh, in some essence they sort of do. And other parts, not so much. Uh, so for the first cover on the left hand side, I give a 7 out of 10. But for the one on the right hand side, I give a 6.5 out of 10. Now, I want to point out why I give it a 6.5. And um, if you look at how Damien Wayne is done on this particular body... It looks like his head doesn't particularly fit really well on it. Now, when you go to Batman's body compared to his, it does look like it fits. So, <laughs> that's my only key criticism in regards to that. Now, it's time to move into the area of the internal art. As we have a look around at the story around the beginning, middle, and of course the end. Uh, to have a look at it art-wise, but also what's happening story-wise with the characters. I'll use the variant cover to show this. So let's get started. Oh, again, the laziness at DC Comics. Hmm, this has got to stop. So as we have a look around the beginning of the story, uh, we see that we have Batman chasing the Dark Man Bat this time. Uh, this time it's um, someone other than Langstrom, who's also gotten a hold of the Langstrom serum uh, to create his own version of his own soldiers. As we jump towards the middle of the story, we see that Damien Wine um, finally gets to reveal who Shush is, as well as uh, Mistress Harsh. And of course... If it's one thing I want to point out is Damien would not be this stupid to reveal his identity to his villain. I'm sorry, but he was taught better than this because he had some good teachers. One being his old man and uh, let's not forget Dick Grayson. And this is more of the destroying of Damien Wayne's character, care of Joshua Williamson. Whilst you have other people out there saying, oh, really good, really good. Yeah, yeah, whose ass are you kissing? Joshua Williamson's? Are you sucking his um, wiener too? Grow the F up. And last but not least, towards the end of the story, uh, to which Damien has a bit of a look at a certain map, uh, to which it real uh, basically reveals a bit of a location to which you'll need to go and catch up and see or catch up with Batman. So for the internal art, I give it a seven out of ten. So that's basically the same as the main cover, and uh, considering how lazy uh, DC Comics is getting with these covers these days. Uh, unless there's a particular reason, maybe. Um, I I'm pretty sure no one wants the same cover twice. To be completely honest. Especially with lazy tactics like this at DC Comics. So, moving into the next thing, and that is the area of the storytelling. Now, considering how far we are in the story, do we get any comic references to any of the previous issues? Um... 
even issue one or two. No, seems Joshua Williamson thinks he's thinks he's uh, high horse suits him quite well at DC Comics, along with the editors, uh, because uh, comic references aren't important for some reason. As dumb as his storytelling in some places. Uh, next is the area of time, to which we get no indication of time. The locations that we see is Gotham Heights High, uh, which is still being called um, the Gotham High School, um, where in the first issue it was noted as Gotham Heights High, and it should remain Gotham Heights High. And I'm pretty disappointed with the artist with not wanting to keep to the writer's interpretation here. Um, next, we also have Gotham itself. The cast of characters consisting of Bruce Wayne, Batman, Dark Man Bat, Damian Wayne, Robin, Flatline, someone kill her off. Um, Mistress Harsh, and last but not least, the character of Shush. The overall story writing in this is a 6.5 out of 10. We'll see you next time uh, for whatever the next Super Suns related thing will be coming out.